Howdy folks, it's Tall Turner, and welcome back to Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020, and if you're noticing that there were a few days without videos, that is true. I haven't missed a daily video since last summer, and there are reasons why. There are a couple things going on behind the scenes that have kind of got me in a little displacement from my normal reality, where I just didn't, haven't felt like doing anything. Um, two situational things that I'm resolving nothing much deeper than that but it was enough to make me not want to even escape with my normal escape but I'm forcing myself tonight to go forth and fly and just ignore the other stuff um, I admit this is my fourth attempt at this video because we're gonna land on ice today and I had to find ice we tried northern Alaska no ice we tried central Alaska no ice we tried northern North Dakota no snow and no ice and then I started here and lo and hold there's ice somewhere where was it over here somewhere there's ice so we're going to land on ice why because you can ever since version 1.12.13 you can land on snow and ice as long as live weather is turned on and there's really snow and ice in the real world at that moment the only caveat is you have to have crash detection turned off otherwise what will happen is the water will register as a crash and end your flight we fly with crash detection turned off anyway, because then some fun things happen sometimes with it off. So that is not a concern for us. We are using the Virus today. It's not my favorite aircraft. It's not my least favorite. It's just an aircraft. We need to fly with um, live weather. We are going to do all players today just to see if somebody's around. So if you want to do multiplayer, there's two things you need to do. You need to turn on multiplayer, and then you have to turn on the nameplates so you can actually see the multiplayer people. I normally fly with all that off because I don't want my name, my screen flooded with names in busy areas, and then I don't want my system bogged down by having multiplayer on. Of course, you can turn on the generic rendering, whatever, but we normally fly with it off because we normally fly with there's lots of people. But whenever we're flying in an area that's very desolate, I like to turn it on just to see if somebody's out there. Live traffic we always have turned on, and live weather we need on. Then you close that up, and we can zoom into an airport I know works. Now there's no parking here, so we just need to um, just start cold and or not cold and dark, active and running. Um, it is that's not the live time. Whatever we're gonna change it anyway because we want daylight. Um, let's see where we're we gonna get some daylight here, like that. There we go. Let's zoom back in. What was the weather? 346 degrees at 9 knots, so that is the appropriate runway, 29, good. Uh, we cannot start cold and dark because there isn't a parking spot. So anyway, we're just going to take off head this way. This is all frozen, I already checked it out, and it's awesome. It's very difficult to land on water, and it's even more difficult, I found out during my practice flight, when it's snowy. It's very difficult to judge, um, so we need to get the altitude of the area. And then just be very careful when we land because it's difficult. You'll see once we once we get there. Otherwise, that is it, I think. I thought there was something else to say, but I can't think anything of it other than noting the airport we're at and hitting fly. Here we go. Let's say kind of realistic. Oh, there's no ATIS here. Never mind. Um, let's hit B, uh, B for barometer then. There we go. 1,390 feet. I already know that lake is 1,380 or something because um, I was already there. So what are we going to do? Anything over here? Uh, we're just going to know. We're just going to fly um, over here somewhere. Doesn't really matter where we go. Just so we can try landing on water. I'm um, down here. Whoop, down here. Anything to... Jeez, my presets. I don't fly this plane very much. We want that on. We want all that stuff on. Okay. Um, here we go, doing our normal flyover with the drone super fast, looking gorgeous again. Live weather, we'll get you this stuff. And, um, there's plenty of water to land on here that's frozen, like right here, that's frozen water. That is not, if we were to make it clear skies and get the grass back, that's just grass, but there's frozen water. Uh, looks like that's not frozen water. So it's not all frozen, which I think is pretty cool and realistic. Um, that's frozen here, but we're just going to fly out. So let's put the drone away. Hop inside, get some flaps down. Take off that parking brake and get going. Um, like this, and see. Oh boy, it's 
really only nine knots this is some windy stuff here okay come on come on there we go get out the rotor pedals brakes to stop the wheels gears fixed flaps coming in right gear is fixed right pretty sure it is sure looks fixed to me let's not hit anything um otherwise what are we gonna do we're gonna head to the north northeast and look for some water to land on it's gonna be a very short video today i just wanted to fly it's been a long time um and i wanted to get something out for you and myself of course i do this because i enjoy it i make videos because i enjoy it and then you enjoy watching so win-win all around we're gonna head over this way to get some water always looking back at our desolate area no one else flying with us i didn't expect there to be i want to get a good a good wing bank here for my thumbnail that wasn't very good was it yuck all right let's hop inside and find some water um let's see where should we land the world is ours bring back props um should i talk about the two things that are bugging me i don't know i don't really know if i need to actually we're gonna head up over here i know that's frozen and vast well, I'll mention them anyway. So one thing is my piano. Um, anybody who knows me knows that my piano is my half my soul. And while the brand is extremely high end and very well respected and reputable, my specific one off of an instrument is having some problems. It's had problems since the day I got it. I tried working through the dealer to resolve them. Um, one of their techs agreed with me, so they just kept sending other techs until the techs agreed with him, the dealer, and nothing really happened. I just accepted it as my fate, because I don't know why, but I just accepted it. But now that it's several years later, I posted a video of my piano about something completely unrelated, and somebody who knows what they're talking about said, dude, that piano needs to be replaced. I'm like, oh, well, there's a validation I needed, so I'm trying again. I'm trying to get my piano either overhauled or replaced even though it's new it's under warranty it's a super high-end brand it's a great company but it's a mom and pop company who makes it um yeah so that's very 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 complicated and i'm trying to figure it out and i'm losing sleep over it the other thing is my chronic back pain that i've had since i was five well, i've been i've been in chronic full body pain since i was five years old but um where's this wind coming from 30 something 33 something so let's land in this direction on this ice anyway um i always have pain since i was five but ever since last fall it's been really bad in the back like burning ring around my body and i haven't been able to sleep in three months so that's got my mind of course i've been to every type of doctor okay there's our shadow because we're gonna hit the ground Let's pay attention. Oh my gosh, I missed it. 1360 is the ground. We missed it by inches. Inches. We missed the ground. Go back and watch that in slow motion. That was very scary. Holy cow. So let's try to land this thing properly, shall we? Full flap coming down. We are 30 feet above. And you can't look out the bottom. In real life, you look out the window to get the horizon or the bank line. We can't do that in the sim. So we just got to come down slowly and carefully. Watch our shadow. Let it touch down that stall gently. Gently. There it is. Oh, we bounced. Bummer. In my test, I didn't bounce. That's okay. doesn't matter. Nose wheel down very gently. Let it come down on its own. There we go. Successful ice landing. We'll stop a second. Look outside and we'll do it again. At least we have like an eight minute video. Parking brake come out. Awesome. Look at that. Landing on ice. Um, but about the doctor thing, I've been to every category of doctor, right? I mean, specialists, generalists, homeopaths, chiropractors, try medication, my body won't absorb it. So it's like nothing works. It's just been extra bad lately. The physical therapy is the worst because every physical therapist I go to, when it doesn't work, they just accuse me that I'm not doing my exercises or I'm not doing them right. But I am doing them right. I do exercises. It doesn't do any good. Exercises often makes it worse. They totally ignore the whole fibromyalgia part, which totally throws a wrench in everything. On paper, nothing is wrong with me other than my diagnoses, which are just lists of symptoms, blah, 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 blah. So those two things, the piano and my back, 
are keeping me from wanting to do flight sim. I'm just kind of feeling deflated, but I'll get through it. This is situational stuff. It's not like permanent stuff. Well, depends how you look at it, but anyway, I wasn't going to say any of that in this video, but that's how we operate here on the Tall Turtle channel. So let's hop back inside, flaps down, release that parking brake, and let's do this again because we can. Whoops. Sorry. I meant I want to try to move my rudder pedal a little bit. I pushed down instead. Ready? Up we go. Oh, I love that sound of the ground rumble fading off or like stopping when you leave the ground. How cool is that? Alrighty, where should we fly to? Should we try one of these smaller lakes and see if they're frozen? Why not? So let's use the map to help us because we can kind of hard to spot here. Zoom in a couple so we have an idea of where we are. Alrighty. Get some altitude. And I think the wind was 33, 34 something. I can't remember. So we're kind of into the wind. At least it felt like it when we landed. But because they go this lake, we're going to have to go with a little bit of crosswind, which is fine. Um, gorgeous, though. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Look at that. Wow. Alrighty. Do we see that lake up there? Off the nose and to the left? I don't. Oh wait, is that it right there? Well, that's it right there already. Okay. Okay, let's slow down. Let's see how quickly we can slow this thing down. 500, so it's 1,440 feet we're looking at for altitude. Alrighty, let's slow down. We might not have enough room to slow down. We might have to circle around. I'm trying to come... I guess we could slip it in, right? Where you lose altitude very quickly without gaining speed oh no we got this made no problem all right we are what i said was gonna be 1440 so we're 200 feet up all right let me crank up my personal volume so i can hear when we touch down hopefully it doesn't bleed into the mic it flaps out early here there we go coming in a little fast so we're gonna ride it out the lake is a lot bigger than it looks come on I'm just going to hover here and bleed off speed because we came in way too fast. Alrighty. Okay, any second now we should touch ground. And here we go. Soften it out. Soften it up. And let it stall and touch down. Where is the ground? Come on. There it is. Any second now. There we go. No bounce. That was so smooth. Would that be called an icer? <laughs> wind is trying to take us a little bit nose wheel down on its own look at that just ride it out since we're on ice we can use brakes but there's no need to we're just gonna do a little bit here so people don't have to walk as far to get off the water very cool smooth as silk look at that I've got full left rudder if I let go look what happens that's crazy it's windy out here that's awesome Alrighty, let's stop this thing. And we successfully landed on ice twice. Let's shut this thing down. Um, what's it going to be? Uh, I don't have my checklist. I think it's just going to be this. Hey, it's going to count as a flight. Nice. Six minutes. <laughs> and only one take off. Oh well, whatever. Let's just continue. This will make our numbers go away, but who cares? We're just going to continue and finish what we're doing. Alrighty, here we go. See, I would like to finish all my flights like this, but then we lose our numbers towards our achievements, our $1,000 achievements, but six minutes isn't going to make a difference. All right, hopefully you enjoyed it. Sorry about the story time. Actually, not really. I know a lot of you actually like it. More of you like it than don't, but um, I wasn't going to do any story time. We're just going to land on ice, plain and simple. But I couldn't. I couldn't just leave it that simple. And anyway, hope you enjoyed it. I really, really enjoyed this one. This was fun. Quick and fun. Quick and easy. Well, it wasn't easy. It was quick and fun. Well, like, like, subscribe, leave a comment, play the YouTube Elder Game, and I'll see you hopefully not in several days, hopefully very soon.